Okay. All right. I'll wait. I need to go take apart my car. Well, that's your fault. Anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome back to Icewind Dale. Park Dos. It has been a while. Yes, yeah, because uh, scheduling and Scheduling sickness. and sickness, yeah. Some of us are vaccinated. Some of us are just unlucky. Some of us are just simply built different. Don't be mean. I, 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 I don't think there's a vaccine for the common cold, VG. No, and some of y'all need Jesus, by the way. What? Just throwing it out there. Anyway. Last time we fought the Loch Ness Monster and it was cold. And, uh... Nearly had two people die. Yes. Would have had would have had Ducky's character instant die if it weren't for the fact that my own logic was used was called on me to make sure I was doing things as I said I was doing them. Yes. Which good on you for catching me on that because I will admit I fuck up a lot. That's why I'm a big dumb fuckhead. That's why we here. I exist Still to up. keep God in check. All so right. as when we last left off, you all were. Uh, Get gathering up forces in order to go hunt down the monster that it's, that you had uh, briefly encountered the other day. That's where we left off. This, mon this monster had been terrorizing, mm -hmm. has been terrorizing the place and making it a major problem to for fish for the fishers. So essentially, what happens is. Damon and I believe it was Quick Trick were out doing things, figuring it out. And then we burst back into wherever you guys are and say, All right, we think we know where it is. We're going to go kill it. If you wish to join us, you may. I don't see why not. It's kind of over here. I have already been dug from the water two separate times for this, so there's no way I'm not getting Yes, well, hopefully don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> I'm going to see if we can take the boat out that way, so it seems like it's faster. And also, it would make a lot of sense if we could cross the river at some point. But essentially, we're going to the mouth of the river to the south of here. And to try and find its lair and kill it there. So, okay. show of hands, everyone's coming with me, I'm assuming. Uh, Ted, not Ted as well. I was office. muted, so that's my fault. Okay, right oh, hold on, man. let me click the button. There we go, you should be fine now. <laughs> ah, thank you. I did not know that that was there. Yeah, sorry, I did that earlier because you were talking too much. That was rude? Question mark? I didn't know what it did. I was just going to mess with you. Mm -hmm. You should apologize for that. That's awful. Nah, he's fine. That was, that was that quick trick has a mute button. <laughs> now, can where I was, I also, where was the button? <laughs> it's in a place you don't want to know. Oh. Oh, oh ew. Why are you touching a robot's ass? <laughs> Old of you to assume it was his ass. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast purify. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast I'm gonna cast gouge eyes. For <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. I, don't mind me. I'm just cleaning up the mess from the last group. Anyway, so off we go. Come on, we need to move fast. Hopefully, if we catch it off guard, it will not heal since our last time. This will be a lot easier to deal with. We did a sufficient amount of damage to it last time, so theoretically, it should be licking its wounds. Right. So, we go to the south. Where are we going? We're, we're going. As we move on to that area. Dungeon Master. Guys, we killed Hunter. Who killed Hunter this time? <laughs> Wasn't me. He's, he's too busy picturing uh, Quick Trick's <laughs> mute button. 
Okay, all right, listen, bro. All right, all right, all right. Oh, fucking right. Out of it. Don't worry about it. It's like <laughs> my DeviantArt page must know about this. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'll think it. We were all thinking it, but you didn't have to say it. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I am the say things guy. Yeah, and you also hear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's also in the air. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> you, you good? Uh, no. what are you guys doing again? We're going to the south, to the mouth of the river, to try and attempt to locate the creature. Okay. Now, I should probably pull uh, wh what, time, what time are you going? I'm assuming it's going to be early morning. No, we didn't take a long rest, dude. This is now. This is like nightfall, essentially. Aren't you guys still fucking blasted from last time? Or have you, mm, have you I, no, we short rested. We without taking long rest, if, if we go without taking long rest, we're gonna die. I have exhaustion. You are gonna die. I'm not gonna die. No, oh, you motherfucker. I still have one level of exhaustion, so I hopefully won't die. That's why I said we're going I now. Y'all can join us if you want. No, to. I well, I do say you guys would have taken a long rest because uh, the uh, reason why I I'm recalling this is because uh, Ducky only has one level of exhaustion. Ducky had two. Oh. Well, then there you go. Fine, I guess we'll do it in the morning. Fine. Yeah, and also, he had also mentioned that you're going to take a look. Yeah, so everyone should have a long rest down. Oh, so no more kill you. Wait, are we level two? Should I need to level up? Yes, sir. Yeah, we are level two. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I did that right before this. I'm yes, not gonna uh, lie to you. C Catherine, because uh, if I, I scrolled back up, Catherine Lockwood takes a long rest at the tavern. At the, or the <laughs> tavern. Well, that means I got my hit dice and my second win back. That's pretty dope. Thank God. <clears throat> Now, did anyone roll for HP, or did y'all just take averages? I just took the average. I took average. I took average. I believe. Ah, uh, y'all are boring. I'll well, start I'm rolling for HP. You oh. know what I'll do? I'll I'll do the average of my fighter die whenever I level up in fighter, but when I roll warlock, I'll roll I'll for roll. HP. I'll roll. I have a... I have... I'm, I do a d12, so I'm... Barbarian, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah, or you didn't level your character, because... Because shit happens. You know. When I'm, I'm multi-class into Paladin, I'll do it. Anything on roll 20. <laughs> oh, I got a 10. Okay. So one of us needs to make a character that's just an amalgamation of all the classes that Orion wasn't. We are not doing <laughs> Orion. No, it wouldn't no. be Orion. That'd be the opposite of Orion. It'd be every other class but the ones that Orion has. And so a bunch of magic classes. Yeah, like, it'd be really bad. Wizard, I'd have so many first level spells. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! I'm into it. Let's do it. I have every first level spell. Anti Ryan, I love Anti Ryan. Quick trick, quick trick dismantles in front of you all and is replaced. <laughs> <laughs> His shell breaks off and reveals a a weird pallid elf with odd eyelashes for some reason. <laughs> So anyway, we uh, rested in the morning. We get up and we go south. Um, taking the boat if we can. I want to go talk to the dwarf guy. If he's still by the way, you had your AC track wrong, Duck. You should have had an AC of 15. Because yeah. Barbarian and our defense. So you have had a long, yes. long rest. You have had a long rest. You still only have that one of exhaustion because you had two. Wait, you said 15 AC? Yeah. yeah. Because it's Dex okay. plus. Mm -hmm. Dex plus Con? De right? Yeah, Dex plus Con. Wait, that should yeah, only be 14. Where's been... the extra one coming from? Wait, what? Barbarian is. Well, let's find out. Because I don't remember. It gives him an ACD of 15, but he has a. Four. What? Uh, Unarmored defense. Nope. That's not it. Yeah, they don't have a shield. Oh, oh, never mind. That's, I I know what that's did it is. That's your con modifier, right? Yeah, yeah, it's ten plus dex plus con. Mm. Mm. 
Procession. I'm glad you're doing this because I realized I fucked up something. Fuck is procession. Huh? What the fuck is procession? I meant precision, you bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, forgot what I said. Damn. Damn. <laughs> we don't get that. How yet. do I? How do I fix that? Yeah, just go and edit it later. We're not. We're not there yet, so you shouldn't have to ever use that either. No, I have that. Um, it's a. Um, it's a. Uh, Your fighting style. Yeah, it's a fighting style called mm -hmm. superior technique. Now, uh, remember, Duck, at level 2, you get Danger Sense and Relentless Attack. Oh my god. Reckless, not re it's reckless. It's literally not 100 degrees outside right now. My computer has 100 degrees, and it says Heat Warning on it. Oh my god. Welcome to California. Welcome to the Hotel California. If I can move to Arizona, it'll be this hot all the time, but the property tax is a lot better. Precision. Yes. Move to Indiana. Everything's really cheap there. Just come down to Florida. Anyway, that's it. There's there's no good. Are we gonna wait for Duck to do the character sheet, or we're we gonna go? Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. You just keep going. Well, you're the dungeon master. You have to narrate what we're doing. Well, I said. Well, I asked like you're going. So I assume you're going early in the morning. Then. Yeah, early in the morning. Be, uh... We were gonna go talk to the dwarf guy to get that boat that we were using. And use it to to row to the mouth of the river so that we can check both banks. All right. Uh, it, as you wake, as you start going about your daily business, it's early in the morning. It's the sun, for what it's worth, hasn't quite risen enough further to be much light. By the way, for the record, and I know this, I don't think this matters for everyone a, except Quick Trick. Hey. Uh. Due to how Icewind Dale is, everything is in dim light. Yeah. Okay. Is that it's fun? great for a Shadow Monk, because that means you can just teleport at will, essentially. Noted. Hey, Hunter. Um, I think I want a new character. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> From what? I make anti Paola. Well, uh, the, the reason why I say that, because in, in dim light, uh, just try and find this again. <clears throat> An area of dim light is a boundary between a source of bright light, such as a torch, and surrounding darkness. Soft light, twilight, and also counts as dim light. In a lightly obscured area, such as dim light, patchy fog, or moderate foliage, creatures have disadvantage on perception checks that rely on sight. Yeah. So basically, you got you guys have blanket perception. <laughs> Disadvantage, well, I mean, unless you have doesn't. dark vision, which most of us do, I think. Everyone except Quick Trick, that's what I'm saying, because only fucks with Quick Trick here. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Fifth Edition. Thanks. Everybody has I'm dark. glad Everybody I'm has the dark. only one who has the highest perception. Good job, man. What are you talking about? My perception Wait. is plus three. My perception um, is plus six. Yeah, but a disadvantage it might as well be plus three. But I think I have the worst perception here because I have a nine wisdom. Bro. Oh, dear. What do your cat eyes see? Nothing. I can't, I can't read. <laughs> well, I can't read. That's just a nine intelligence. He's not dumb. He's just he, he just can't. He just can't see. Anyway. He's distracted by a lot of things. Yo, when are we gonna get them glasses? The fuck? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I should have my resistance as well yeah. well let's keep going to the mouth of the yeah. river yeah uh, you go speak to the dwarf uh, <clears throat> <laughs> what do you want to admit you want to take the boat out for what well the monster has been uh, kind of found at the very least we have a good idea of where it is so if you want your boats and your men to be safe in the future, I do suggest you let us borrow it one more time. Because we're going to go kill it, if that wasn't clear. Alright, fine. I just fixed the bloody thing too. Take it. Good. Get, get, if, you get rid of the if you get rid of the monster, 
I'll come up with some kind of reward for it. Excellent. Lovely. That's good to hear. Alrighty. Everybody pile in. Who was the one of us that was good at rowing? None of us were, right? No. I don't think any of us really were. Excellent. Yeah, I'll take over. If you I am wish not to. good with water-based vehicles. It's on you. If you know how to steer better than I do, then by all means. No offense, but I think everyone here knows how to steer better than you after last time. <laughs> I would agree with that, honestly. Oh. Wait, don't all of us have crossbows? Yes. Yeah. Right, let's do this. Well, one, okay, of us has, well. one of us has pointy sticks. What is the stat for this? Stats for the boat. Oh, they were... Oh, hang on a second, didn't I write it down? Yes. The boat, did he fix all the HP of the boat? Because... Yes, it's back up to 50. Cool. So, we are at 50 out of 50 HP. I'm keeping track of it on okay. my bio. Um, then, what What skill do I use again? Hold on a second, guy. Mm -hmm. uh, for rowing the boat, it's a straight wisdom check. And you have proficiency bonus if you have uh, proficiency in water vehicles. Alright, so I'll just roll wisdom then. You gotta I believe in you. Nice. Nice. Because you believe hey, in BG. me. Hey, BG, you're crackling. You're static. BG, do be turning into a static TV. It hits different. Alright. Uh, let me find this thing again. VG, your audio's being super scuffed. Sorry, Mom called me. You good? <clears throat> yep. We're going to do things. Yes, your wisdom was 19. Yep. So, uh, yes, it seems I know how to pilot a, bo pilot a boat. Thank Love God it. someone actually knows what they're doing. I try. Does that, in does that entail that none of us know what we're doing? Except for her. Well, when it comes yes. to piloting boats, yes. Oh, I see. Uh, someone roll me a d20. Not it. Nose goes. Ha! I beat you. Wow. Both really low rolls. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is not bode well. The lake is still quiet. Oh. We're heading it's just, towards it's, the mouth, right? It's, so al it's, al it's almost like a mirror as mm -hmm. you traverse the lake. Right. Let's just head to the mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> yes. Go where we were supposed to be going. We're going to stay out here for as long as it takes. It's going to be boring. I hope somebody brought something to do. There is there is still fishing rods in the boat. I've got something. Hold on. We need to ah. move towards the mouth of the river, correct? Yes. In the meantime, does anyone want to play some dice? How do you play? Uh, well, you roll dice and you bet on how much how many of one singular number exists on the uh, on the entire board so for instance if I give you five dice and I have five dice and we both roll and hide the dice underneath a cup or something then we try and guess how many of one kind of number there is between the two of us if it doesn't work then it doesn't work but hey. Uh, what would you like to bet? Oh, so we could just do it for fun. Alright. Essentially, if you lose your bet, you if lose you a like, dice. First one like to zero. If you like I have 11 gold I can give you dice. So the first one to lose all of their dice... ...loses. Yep. If you lose your bet, you and lose a start. dice.
Uh, they're all d6s, right? So I guess we just roll five d6s and then. I mean, we can occupy ourselves with this as long as we want to. I'm just saying we could do that as a, as an RP thing while, <laughs> while we make other rolls to figure out where the creature is. All right, I guess me and <laughs> me and you're just gonna play some dice. You're teaching Quick Trick how to do dice. Alright, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and roll the five D, the additional 5d6s if you guys want. Well, we should roll yes. both. Well, let's make our predictions beforehand, because once we figure out which ones we have. I think that there will be two. Two of what? Two of three. Two threes. Of all of this. I'm going to say four twos. All right, roll in three, two, one. Two, three, I was close. I almost got it. You only had one, two threes. So I believe you win that bet, my friend. Oh, cool. <laughs> and I was confused. You actually won. <laughs> no, of, of all the dice that were rolled, there were exactly three, two, or two threes. So that a point for you. Wasn't there four twos as well? No, there's only no, three. No, there's only three. All right. So that means I added dice to mine. And you just let us know when you want us to stop and make other checks to find the thing because we're just killing time. Uh, ma make, make two more. Because, again, this is over the course of an hour. Okay. <laughs> two more rolls of the D6s or of D20s? Yeah, two more rolls of the D6s. All right. Uh, uh, this time, let's see. I will say, I will say two sixes. Four fours. Four fours. All right. All right. Roll in three, two, one. Oh, damn it. So close. Two fours. Uh, two fours? Yeah. Damn. At we least both. it was a dice. Unfortunately. Um, I guess we go again. Sure. Once more uh, into the breach, time. let's see. Let's I see. will be bold. I will say three sixes. I'm going to lose that bet, my friends. Let's see. I will say three twos. All right. Roll in three, two, one. One, two. Shit. Well, there was not a single six. That is unfortunate. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to lose a dice there. Ah, a cheater, are we? Or just... Just absent not... I get you. Uh, shall we try that one more time? I shall not cut off your hands, because this is your first time playing. Excuse me? Oh, don't you know that's the penalty for cheating? Oh, please stop hazing him. He doesn't understand jokes. It's I not a joke. In certain places before. of the world, if you've cheated dice, you lose your hands. <laughs> I am Obviously. not joking. Obviously, but he's not, you're not going yes, to do it. Yes, it's a dangerous it. game to play, especially the more south you go. Alright. I now only have five dice. Do you want to try that round again? Or do we want... Well, no, your, your bet was wrong, even considering if we take one of the dice away. So I assume you should have four. Okay, yes, sorry. Um, I will go three threes. Three threes. I will say two ones. All right, rolling three, two, one. Shit. Well, that was just sad. Mm. We're not very good at predicting these, are we? No, I do not think we are. I feel like I've right, misunderstood right. the rules a little bit, but that's fine. All right, so, all right. Someone else rolled each one. Which one did you take last time, mine? Yes, I took your eight. Okay, someone all else right. rolled them. Ring, bit of boop bop. Nine, baby. <laughs> cool. We're making slight <laughs> improvements. Yeah, I only need like a few yeah, more. I think, but. No, the lake still is still as still as a mirror, you know, at, you know, at the mouth. We're really gonna be out All right, let's keep going. 
Can what I at least try it on your game? If it's gonna, if we're gonna take this long. <laughs> uh, no, it won't take very long. I'm almost out. It seems. Uh, so you, I'm you down to three. These? I'm down to one. Okay. So three to one. Um. I say one two. I was about to say one one. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess. There we go. Uh, let me just get the dice roll up. I'm down to three, right? Yes. Okay, so... Three, two, one. Yeah, roll to six. There's not a single two. Well, see, it appears that I'm out. <laughs> oh, that means I won. It can be a slippery slope, this game. Okay, may I jump in? Sure, if you wish. Sure. We will. This is very fun. If anybody else wishes to play, I have set for up to five people. Okay. Give I me a moment. I am not fond of dice. I do have this ball, though. He pulls a tail, pulls a leather ball out of his bag. Kind of just pushes it against the wall. <laughs> Push it against the wall. The wall That's of the boat. Yeah, the side yeah. of the boat. Okay. You just hear it occasionally. Alrighty then. <laughs> well. <laughs> so, the probability has increased because there are now 15 dice. Yes. I will say. Four fours. You know, I think I believe. I believe I was wrong about something. Mm. I think if you guess. If you guess the number of dice. I think the person who is off by the most amount is the one that loses their dice. Oh wow, now that I've joined the game, the rules change. Well, the rules are being remembered as I go along. Fair enough. I'm just joking. Okay. And in the case of a tie, both players lose their dice. So, I say... I say four fives. Four sixes. Four fours, four fives, and four sixes. Let us roll so, in three, two, wait, one. Wait, how many do I roll? Five d six. Well, there's your four. Oh, five. Nope. That's so uh, I got I four, four fives exactly. Thank you. Wait, so I have. Wait, I have five sixes. Does that mean I'm? You are off by the most amount, I believe. No, you're not. You said four fours, right? So. Yes. Technically, our robotic friend here is off by two. Mm. And I'm off by one, which means he's wrong, and he loses a die. Exactly. Okay, I'm, st I'm starting to understand this. Alright. Mm. This is a lot more fun than gladiator arenas. I'm sorry, what? Oh yes, I remember now. Sorry. I will say four threes for our next roll. I'm going to say four fours as, uh, like before. I have a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Three fives. Is with you. Three fives. Three Rolling threes. In three, two. What? What did I say? <laughs> Forgotten my bet. <laughs> three, <fi> three threes, I thought. Three threes. Yes, sir. That's five. what I thought. All right, roll it. <laughs> three threes, three fives, and four fours. Rolling in no, three. No, three, no. One. <laughs> I said three fives, right? I believe so. No, no. Uh, two no, threes. There's four fives and no fours at all, so I guess I take the L. Well, no, he has to roll it. There you go. Two, yep, four, two fours. Have... And I roll well, it... three threes. So I'm off by, th I'm off by two. I'm, I'm off, off by, by four, so I guess I will lose another dice. Oh, wow. No, you're, you rolled for four fours, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm off by eight. Two. You're off by two. I'm oh. off by two as well, I believe. Well, in the case yeah. of a tie, I believe we all lose a dice at that point. Wow. That was very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm, abandoning my there. I'm abandoning my fours. They have betrayed me. You had two fours? Spoken like a true Just... gambler. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look what you've done to him. Eleven. All right. I um, what am I doing? Three, two sixes. Two sixes. Uh, I will say 
Three, Go back two. to my... Actually, wait, those were my sixes. That's not fair. Three twos. Three you can twos. guess the number of sixes if you wish. It doesn't... No, no. You don't take no. the number. Four fives. Four fives. All right. Four fives. Rolling three twos. Three, and whatever he two, thinks. one. One, two. Shit. I'm off by one. Damn. Three fives. Three fives. You're on. And what was it? Three sixes? I, yes, so and I'm off by two. two. Did you lose another dice, my friend? Hmm. My luck is not turning out very well on this one. What about you? Yeah. What did you get? I was off by one. I picked three twos and I got two of them. Right, so he missed, because he missed two. Okay, okay. Yes. This is rather time consuming. I quite enjoy it. Yes. Has another hour passed yet, Mr. DM? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Stop God. Waiting. Oh, God in heaven. Has it been one more hour? Mm, let me check my yes. sundial. Roll, someone else rolled a 20. Cool. Oh, Devin, it seems as if you must roll your d20 now. Who is Devin? My name is Damon, not Devin. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Close. <laughs> Another hour of fuck all happening. Wait, oh, oh more time for dice, yay. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, 40 seconds. Three ones. Alright. How many hours? Two have fives. Eight? So we've done three so far, so. Okay, do any of those produce a result? <laughs> so we're out on the lake for eight hours. Nah, 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 I want to win this game though. Hold up. No, just, we'll continue the game. Yes, yes or no, and then we'll finish this game, and then if something happens, then it happens. If not, then fuck it. Let's see, 11, 15, 15. I think those are the other ones that have my highest thing happen. Uh, so that'd be hour what? The, the the next in the next hour after that, you do while you're game while you're playing with dice. You actually see a uh, a rowboat from a another uh, from another village on the lake with about three uh, with about three with three fishers on board. Ooh. Hey, you want to get on this dice game? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> we don't have enough man. Stop. <laughs> There's too many people in the boat. We can only take four at a time, if I remember correctly. Uh, right, um, let's finish this game, and then we should try to row closer to the mouth of the river and see if we can maybe agitate. Yeah, we've and been at the, the mouth of the river for like three hours now. And at the two fifteens, uh, who here, uh, what's the highest pass possession? I've 16. 13. Yeah. So 16 is probably the highest. Yeah. Okay, uh, at 15, the first 15, a knucklehead trout leaps out of the water and makes it, and smacks his tail against one of you. Uh, you want to roll a d4? Can I stab it? <laughs> because, well, because you have a pass perception of 16, yes you can, as a opportunity yeah. attack. But it still yeah. gets its thing. <laughs> Who does it hit? Who does it hit? Uh, I'm gonna say that one is uh, the tabaxi. Bonk. Of course, cats and fish, the ultimate enemy. <laughs> yes. A rivalry for the ages. That battle Our will be battle legendary. Or the opponent. Our battle Our will be legendary. Battle will be legendary. He's a panda. You're a panda. Oh, fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're telling me you didn't watch Kung Fu Panda as a kid? Get out of here. Not yeah. as a kid, I watched it as a teenager. <laughs> oh my god, the trout actually fucking hits. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Dealing one point of slapping damage. No. It has a damage dice. Oh good. <laughs> it's a big ass trout. <laughs> it's a E12. Ducky, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as a, <laughs> a as a trout jumps out of the water and bitch slaps you with its tail. <laughs> Like a I barbarian punching you in the face. Damage. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like a, uh, it's a good like right, fifth uh, of your health at this point. V v all right. Uh, well, I mean, everybody gets opportunity attacks, right? Or uh, no, just the person who, with sixteen. Okay, who who has an opportunity? Who has a pass perception above uh, thirteen and up? Oh, I do. Me. Then you all. Then you both get to make an opportunity attack. Okay. <laughs> I think a nineteen hits. Opportunity attack on. Fifteen for six. Uh, yes. There's a, there's a fish and I. 
All right, De uh, Devin hits first and does enough damage to kill. So as a, the Shroud leaps up and just fucking completely discombobulates fucking tail, uh, one, uh, you just, with a quick swish of your, of your scimitar, lop its head off. So the two separate pieces of fish are landing at the bottom of the boat. Is this how you catch fish? Uh, that appears to be one way. Tail just, like, sits there for a second, and, like, it takes him a second to process what just happened, because he has just been in a trance. This man has been dissociating while rolling his little ball at the side of the boat for, like, an hour. Like, five he's, like, hours. It's, like, five hours. This is what he's been doing the entire time. He has not done anything else. He has not moved. He has not spoke. He has not drank water. He has just sat there, rolling the ball at the side of the boat, and he just, like, looks up, really confused. Is um, that a fish? It was. Now it is food. So, can, I go for steps. Does, does he see the fish? Is, is it's in the, it's in the boat, I believe. Fish? Yeah, I cut it. It just, I saw it slap, and then it was like, shing! With can tail, precision. um, can tail, uh, before anyone else can grab it, can tail grab it and start eating it raw? I, I, I mean, sure, but that's about 70 pounds of fish right there. What? It's he's like, yeah, it's like a tuna. Start, going, it's like a big ass he's tuna. Going to, yeah. He's gonna start shooting, he's gonna start, like, eating part of it raw. He's just gonna start munching at it. Hold on. All Before, right. don't eat all of it. We might be able to use part of it as bait for the bigger one. Alright, uh, roll me a constitution save for eating raw fish. A con save? Alright, alright, okay, okay. Because okay. raw fish poison. is for <laughs> you! He's a cat! Let's so see can. if you get uh, mercury poisoning from the fish. He is a uh, he is a uh, snow leopard. Do you think snow leopards can cook their food? Yes. Rats. Yes. Snow leopard the backsies can. Yeah, they're kind of humanoids. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. That's an okay you, save. You, you don't get food poisoning from just eating a raw fish. This is a pretty good fish. I'm gonna be honest. This is a good fish. Right. All right. The next hour, another trout. Can we, an appearance. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm about that. But can we finish our game? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is great. Well, I, I mean, go it, ahead. Go, go the fuck ahead. Go roll, your, roll your trout stuff while we do our game real quick. Uh, I believe I'm still on 46. I'm on two. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm about to be a, um, I'm going three twos. Three tools. Okay, VG gets hit, VG gets hit. It has to roll above an 18. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Just just calmly just avoiding the snap the slap, just Now that I know they're doing this to us, I'm going to fucking destroy it. Nope, I got a natural one. Never mind. I'm just gonna continue rolling my dice. You see, that's great and all, but like I wanna Oh, cool. There we anyway. go. Anyway. <laughs> Again, the fish murder. <laughs> Oh wait, shit! Did I have five still, or did I have four? Uh, I had four. I had four. I had four. Yeah. Oh wait, we didn't call out what? Did you guys call out what? You were I'm doing? literally throwing. I don't. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Uh, the fucking the only one who's lost two is Devin, and then each of us have only lost one. Yeah. So it'd be forty six, forty six, and then Devin has no, no, no. I'm, six. I think I called like two fives or three fives. No, I always call three fives. I didn't call it's anything. I just rolled dice. <laughs> I did three twos. We're gonna redo the round anyway. Okay, okay. okay. Restart it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So I have three okay. fives. You should have. You should have three d six, Devin. I should have three d six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so three twos. <laughs> three twos is probably safe. But... Connor's like, damn, I'm really happy I get to referee this game. I will say two threes. Okay. Ooh. Three fives. Two fives. Excellent. One, three, two, three, two, go. One. Why are you rolling no damage at all? <laughs> no twos Wait, at hold all. Hold on, stop. No, there was one two. Where in the world did you get D8s? Oh, uh, uh. Did you please roll again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> using the D6s uh, that we've been using this entire time. There we go. I don't know where. I don't know where they I came said, from. I I'm sorry. I walked by one. 
I, I thought There's it was very confusing exactly when I rolled a seven. Two. There's exactly one two, which means that I at least didn't lose a dice. What was the other one? It was five, three two, five. so I am off by two. Oh, it was I, also a three I'm, five, right? It yeah, was, yeah, so it, was three two, well. it was three twos, two threes, and three fives. Well, both of you lose a dice, and I stay exactly where I am. Okay. So now Captain's like at, shutting up and just focusing on rolling die. <laughs> like now they're now they will. This gets intense. They're I would writing. say three twos again. I will say, I will say two threes again. Fours. Four fours. How many? Two. Two fours. I must roll All my right. D8s again. Two threes. Roll in three, two, one. One, two. Darn. Ooh, look what at did that. I say? I am on the money. It's fucking bullshit. No, no. You that's said, fucking sh You said four fours? <laughs> no, two fours. Two fours. Oh, well, you're off by one. However, I believe it was... I'm off by two. Yes. I'm down to one die. <laughs> Unfortunate. I suppose this is the way of gambling. There it is. So I will say. I will say oh, two sorry. fours. I will say two sixes. Two fives. Oh. Rolling in three, two, one. What the no, fuck? Two no, 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 no. Two threes or three threes? Sorry, excuse me. I'm off by one. There are no sixes. <laughs> so, I believe... What was it? You're off by what? Three? I'm off. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm out. I'm out. Well, okay. I believe that means that we are in a roll-off, Miss Catherine. Yes. So are you prepared to lose? Are you? No. Not at all, actually. Two twos. I'm gonna say two twos. Actually, did you just call that? Yes, I did. No. Oh, uh, one four. One four. One four and two twos. Three, two, one, go. One four. There's one four. Well, alrighty then. To change my macro. <laughs> <laughs> I will say two threes. Two sixes. Three, two, one. Two threes, three threes. We're both okay. off by one. So we both lose one. Yes. It's a tie game so far. I will say two ones. Fuck yes. One four. Three, two, one. Mm. Well then. I will roll 21 d6 now, there we go, okay. Hmm. One three. Just... This is riveting. I'm glad there is nothing else happening around us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> One four. One, two, three. Yeah, we're both right. Again. Wait. One three. But it's t no, it's not a tie. It is. There's one three and one four. Oh, so do we just keep going until yeah. one of us mistake? Until oh, one okay. of us loses all their dice. Mm -hmm. One three. One five. One two three. Motherfucker! Well, it appears you've won this competition. Oh, have I? Yes, because we tied. Which means I lose my last dice. Fuck yeah! <laughs> She's fucking standing up, like. Wow, is it sunset already? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking did it! I fucking won. I, I just imagine you all been playing dice for literal hours with the occasional breakup of the, the fucking trout trying to fucking brain one of you. Pretty much, yeah. Yes. It's been a long eight well, hours of gambling. Like full on dissociating just to like look over and say, "Oh, this captain finally wins." Like, uh, yes. Yes, one. I knew it. One. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Good you. Good job, Thank Catherine. There's a reason I why I, I pay this for money. 
There's a reason why I don't play this for money. Alrighty. Um, I think it is time for us to head back to shore. It is getting late already. Shall we wait more one more hour just to be sure? Yeah, if you want to bleed it into the night time, but it's going to get dark. And colder. Mm. It is you. It is your. Uh, you all. You. 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 You are. Oh, mm. You all right? He's got a little condensation in his head. Hold on. We broke him. Let's I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast healing word because I'm concerned. Let's go for. Let's go for. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see. What we if we got up at like what six? We did eight hours, so we're at like four o'clock in the afternoon actually. So if we could go for about two more hours before it starts getting too dark. See, just Craig just like goes down, goes back up. It is my companion's decision. Yeah. Well, we've got, I say, two hours. Give it two hours until sunset, then things start getting cold, we get the fuck out of here. I love this character, because any speech impediment that I have, I can just translate to him having a glitch. It's just a glitch in the Matrix. Alright, someone else roll me a d20. We need to roll two d20s. But we'll Tail. start one at a time. Yep. Alright, that's one. Oh, my god! An hour of nothing fucking happening. All right, fuck it. I'm going again. Yeah. No! Okay, we're, we're going. Another wow. hour of nothing. This thing sucks. You think uh, you'd be able to uh, find uh, a giant uh, monster? Uh, as the hours progress, you all get the distinct feeling that the beast recognizes your boat and is thus avoiding it. What a fucking pussy. Good. That means this is the lucky boat. Yeah, we can say, hey, look, we've made it scared of your boat, so now it won't attack this one. I don't... Mm. I feel like we've scared it off, at least for the time being. Let's see. It would be great if we could find its actual dwelling. Sure. If only. But I don't believe we can. I mean, we already checked where we thought it was. There's not really a place that I know of that make it work. Unless we're pr prone to going underwater, any of us. I do not need to breathe. No, but aren't you susceptible to being frozen? I suppose. I have heard you say you feel the cold, so getting in the water might not be the best idea for you anyway. The water does seep into the... Uh, the crevices of my uh, body and freezes some of the circuitry, so I suppose, yes, the cold is bad. I don't know what that means, but yeah, sure. Alright, well, I think we're done then. Let us just return to shore. We've been out here all day playing dice for eight hours. That was a pretty fun game, though, you have to admit. Yes. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look, at well. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how long it takes for us to get anywhere close to twenty. You know yeah, what what's the magic to... number? There we go. Right, you wanna... It would take three more hours, but we're not doing that. I don't think. I don't yeah, think no, so either. The, yeah, no. In order for anything to fucking happen, you 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 would need to get above a sixteen. <sighs> well, regardless. I think we... Hey, this, this well, is I'm trying to go by the book here. <laughs> that is... Well, look, I mean, look, if we're looking for a monster, we're going to have to spend some days doing this. It is a big lake, after all. Although, well, what was the direction that one lady's... Scared. What was the direction the lady's um, son went? He went further into the... He went further to the east, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I have a problem. If it is scared of our boat, doesn't that mean it will just start to target the rest of them more frequently? And it's still consuming a fair amount of fish. We could try and bait it out. We could mash up the fish in, that we have caught today and use it as chum. Let's do that on the way back. See if it follows us. Okay. 
I guess me with the scimitar, I'll begin cutting it up. <laughs> and we will sprinkle some into the water as we as we go. Does that increase our chances at all? Great DM. Unfortunately, no. You could you could just let him. I don't know. Okay, I want. Uh, okay, here's something I want you all to do. Just yeah. to try and give you something to work out here. Everyone, roll me and I and either Arcana or a Arcana. You hear the shit? So, 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 so I'll, I'll laugh for this. Arcana, insight, or um, history, or no history. Uh. Arcana, insight, or nature. Zero on nature, four in insight. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> we'll go to level two. All right, we got two more people. Nature, insight, or um, whatever the Arcana. fuck the other one. Or Arcana. All right. I'll try that motherfucking nature check, I believe. I'm not good at nature. Wait, it was nature what and what? Nature Arcana, Arcana, and Arcana. Insight. I, yeah, I, nature, Arcana, and what else? Because like 13 percent insight. insight. Thank you. Oh, yes! Oh, thank God someone rolled decent. Okay. <laughs> I don't think 23 is decent, but okay. Okay. Sure, that's great. It's, it's literally Ka Catherine, when you, you... You recall when you looked into the beast's eyes the night before... It seemed unusually intelligent. Something a beast, by all accounts, should not be. It showed... A it, it showed itself to be more intelligent than it, again, had any right to be. Do that information what you will. So the beast was just much more intelligent Smarter. than a beast should be, right? That's what you're trying to tell me? Yes. Its eyes ha held more intelligence to them than a beast should. Well, I thought about something while we were rolling dice for eight hours. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> if your brain was turned off, that would have been bad if it attacked us. Right? No, um, it's not smarter than it gave off. What the hell does that mean? Well, when I looked in... It just seems so much smarter than it would be let on. What a beast should really be. So... What? It went to school or something? Not even. Maybe it's... Uh, with that, with her saying that, I'll allow everyone else to make a history or a... Either a history or an arcana check. My history is too. I'm an 18. My that intelligence is decent. Wow. A natural 1 and a natural 20. <laughs> and then the 30 20. Okay. Wait, BG, I uh, you're, 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 old, you're old three yeah, you're old 3 <laughs> Yeah. Two of them are inside. So, uh, Alright. Uh, Damon and Quick Trick. Quick Trick, you, re you recall from some of the books you've perused. And Damon, just from general knowledge of the arcane. Some druidic spells have, from what you've heard, have the ability to give intelligence to an animal or a plant. That's why uh, sometimes druids are seen as extremely dangerous, because even the woods they live in are as much their weapon as their, as their own spells. Hmm. Could be that. I have heard of this. I did a little bit of research on magic for a while. There is a spell that I know of that can do that. Or it could just be the, the person themselves. Either one. But... I have a feeling that the druid... who did this... is not one for attacking boats. Unless they're 
An eco terrorist. Trying to scare the possibly. village, maybe? Oh, that's possibly. Possibly. There's some laser coming, Scooby Doo episode. Yeah, I don't know exactly why it would be that way. Although, if magic is at play here, then we at least have so much to go off of. Perhaps we should check the taverns for local legends. Maybe there's a witch of the woods or something that we could use to figure out the either the beast's location or at least why they're doing it. And if not, I suppose we can try to think of a way to maybe trick the beast. Well, let's see. From what I recall from the spell, and you can, can you correct me on this if I'm wrong, but does it give you, it gives you the language of the person that made it awakened, right? It's either that or like the ability to at least understand what they're saying. So we could, we could leave a sign or write something. In what manner? I don't know. It depends on what language it knows. That's the big thing. We don't know if it'll be un able to understand us. It could know that weird to druid language that we all know. Or it could know goblin for all I care. It doesn't matter. We don't know if it can or not. I'm not you know, well versed on that level of magic quite yet. Mostly the basics. I think, just from my own point of view, that it would be much more much more useful to us to see if we have any kind of legend nearby or of someone who knows that level magic should we start looking around the town then i was just going to go and sit in the tavern for a while it's getting cold as fuck out here i talk with the patrons oh. i'm good at that have fun i can i think i should try and get money maybe just Offer my services, healing. Not the first thing that came to mind. But right. So I'm uh, gonna roll a unarmed attack on a VG. All right. Say a 13 does not hit. Um, nope. Going to hurt your hand if you keep doing that. I'm going to go to the tavern. You all can do what you wish. I will go with Damon's at the tavern. You... You're a little strange. Just going to throw that out there. Uh, they may not be willing to talk to me if you're around. Uh, why do you think that is? Because you're made of metal. Wouldn't that inspire more conversation? No, see, people are superstitious, especially in small villages like this. Especially ones who have been uh, fucked with by giant monsters in the lake. So I feel like, and this is just from experience, uh, the less strange you are, the easier it is to talk to people. And also, the more drunk they are, the easier it is to talk to them. So I plan on spending at least a couple gold getting various members of the tavern drunk all right i suppose i shall go somewhere else well i mean just uh, you can hang around but uh, quick, quick trick just looks like around i mean go go where you wish there's plenty of, there's more than one tavern in this place if you wish to do your own investigation i just suggest that maybe we split the effort make it easier on both of us. I will... I will attempt. I will... I will try. That's the like travel? Would you like to travel with me? We can go to that other tavern and investigate. Sure. So I will yeah. go to the only one that I remember, which is the Buried Treasure Inn, and perhaps look for anybody there. If there's anybody hanging out in the bottom section, to talk to. That's what I will be doing. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat that, please. I'm going to try and go to the Buried Treasure Inn 
if there's people hanging around there, fantastic. I will talk to them and see if there's any kind of weird local legends about this place. You know, as a traveler and a drifter, I would be interested in that kind of thing. So real quick, I'm gonna we're traveling with him, basically leading him back. Is what Cass is gonna do. And then as he basically enters the tavern, uh, I want to cast Create or Destroy Water. Is that you still trying to get back in for calling you a hooker? Yes. Okay. So, Damon, as you walk into the tavern, describe what happens. Uh, yeah. Cannon? Uh, basically, I'm only going to produce like a gallon of water and just basically a cube of water just appears before Damon's head and then just drops drenching him water. You have two options. Mm -hmm. One of which you cannot do, so rain begins to fall. <laughs> Oh, so range is in the 30 foot radius in range? Yeah, so you basically call uh, a localized rain cloud above me, and then I enter the tower and it doesn't work. I should have read that spell more. Yes. I'll get him back. Reading is your friend. So fuck you. <laughs> well, you've made an ice <laughs> slick outside of the tavern now, so... So whoever walks out next. <laughs> yeah, somebody's gonna go. I can just drop. No, it's not even concentration. I can't even drop this. Uh, and, and you can't just and you can't destroy water on ice. Yeah. No, you really can't. Catherine, next time instead of um, making public dangers, you, I can just scratch him for you. No, don't fucking smash him off. You can try. Yeah. You can certainly uh, try. As Catherine and Tail had this conversation, a a uh, dwarven man uh, walk, steps out of the bar and uh, oh. Oh, the lip yeah no uh, he uh, slips falls back and is like ah! All right, what the fuck ah! so <laughs> there's definitely going to be the whistling of uh, you know it's that awkward little whistle before fucking like bolting in the other direction Catherine. I don't want to talk about it. Catherine. I don't want to talk about it. I am not referring to that. I have a mm. theory. What is that? Say that this plesiosaur is intelligent. And that it was awakened by said druidic spell. Does that mean that it has to obey the druid? Yes. Most likely. Hmm. Are you sure? What if we can convince it not to attack? Hmm. Hmm. I have... Here. Let us go to the stores. I want to try something. Uh, and me... Can me and Cat... Uh, if, if Catherine will agree... First of all. Kath? Yep. Alright, uh... Hunter, can we go to, like, the market or whatever the fuck and buy some fish? Like, tasty-looking motherfuckers. Uh... Okay, uh... The, fi the fish market's about... A bit off from the docks, uh, so it's across town from the very treasure end. So you have to walk away. Yes, let's do that. And I need tail with me because I'm not a good judge of fish, because I don't eat them. I am entirely willing to come with you. This would be very oh, fun, man. fun bonding experience. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, definitely fucking have. Should we sell those, like, the fish we had? Like, we had an extra fish? Because I'm assuming Tail didn't eat the full fucking fish, though. Well, we used the rest no, of we the chum. Chop up the most, oh, okay. most of it and dumped yeah. it into the river. We chummed okay. the rest of it. I apologize. Although, we do have an extra one, didn't we? Oh, no, we chopped up that one, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I assume we get to the fish market eventually. Yes, fish market. Yeah. 
Hunter has died yet again. Hunter, stop dying. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to space it. This just happens every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Uh, We're heading to the fish market. All right, yeah, the fish market. Uh, you, you see if... You see uh, the... The, the pittance of, of fish brought in being hawked by a couple of fishmongers. Uh, I looked at sale. Uh, what? Uh, I need three of the best looking ones. Could you please help? Kale, like, looks at the fish and goes into, like, you know, you know how those the specific mobs at the supermarket get when, like, they see something they can get a deal on? Why are my dogs barking? Now, kind um, of, yeah. Now, uh, anyway, yeah, you know that you know that feel that look that specific moms get um, at the supermarket when they they know they can get a specific deal on something and save like ten dollars, like five dollars. Yeah, that's how tail goes, and he is off. Tail, what do I what do I roll to search for fish? Uh, make me just an investigation check with advantage because you have quick trick helping you. Also, I want you to keep in mind each individual, like the, every male like trout you get your hand that is being sell, sold here, is seventy fucking pounds. Mhm. Mm I got a sixteen. The females are fifty. All right, fifty. Uh, I mean, not sixteen. Uh, you. Managed to find uh, a fishmonger that's selling some reasonably oh, all right fi uh, fish. Uh, yeah, they look to be fresh caught. Look like they were at least caught within the past couple days, given how easy it is to serve meats and ice with you know, the fucking cold. How much for three? Oh, fuck me. I have to try and figure out how to price a tuna. Uh, quick pause while I try and figure out the fucking price of how much the, the, the fucking charge for a whole fucking trout. For a large fish like that that can feed a family for a while? You know, uh, the, worst part, the funny part is, it's still a small creature. I mean, it's, it's probably close to... It's probably close to, like, five silver. If I were to guess. If it's, if it's a fish that big and it's the vital to the survival of the village... Especially if it's scarce, then yeah, it would be around five silver-ish. All right, we're gonna go with that. And if there's a fucking a, a thing in the book that says it's price, uh, fuck it. All right, so five silver a piece. I want three, so here's a gold and five silver. Now, uh, keep in mind, this is a small fishing village. Yeah. They've probably never seen an actual gold piece. Uh huh. Hunter, I'm from here and I have 11 gold pieces on me. Uh huh. Well, you're also an adventurer, so hush. And I am a machine. E boo boo bop. So. so... Yeah, three uh, you, big ass fucking trap. Yeah, you you get you you manage to you uh I'm, I'm getting thrown off by VG's cuffed audio. I think can that's what happens when everything switches. VG, can you mute? Because whenever you're not talking, okay. I was muted back then. Was it still making noise? Yeah, it was still yeah. making pretty. Okay, give me a second then. Okay. All right. So I have a plan. I'm I, a I barbarian. I'm still gonna have to ask you if you all to keep track of that, because that's a heavy fucking fish. I'll take a 70 pound. 
Back it on your sheet. I have an idea. I have an idea. My gears are turning, man. Gears are turning. Did you I, be thonking? I, I do be thonking, yeah. It, the three fish tie them together and then uh, like above it we have like a sign and we say like peace offering assume this is only assume and we say it in like a few different languages just to try to widen the field oh let me explain this quick so my plan is to write a message to the monster if we assume it's intelligent and take a chance on the fact that it's not under control by a druid, but it's employed by a druid, we can maybe make a peace offering and converse with him. We should get to know who this guy is before we do that idea. Does that make sense? What if the druid is, how do I say, an enemy? And the monster, but if we can convince the monster not to be aggressive, then all we have to deal with is the druid, correct? Mm. All right, I think I fixed it. Is it bad now or no? Yeah, you sound a lot better. Okay. Uh, it was the fucking. The it was noise suppression. That's probably just my fan. I'm just gonna keep muted. It's a hundred and fucking four degrees. I hate it. It is what it is, King. I do the sign thing later, but I think even if we find out who the druid is, that we should probably try to placate the monster first. If we assume it is intelligent, if we assume this or that. Nah, I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess we back to the tavern thing? Is that what we're doing next? Well, we can check on Damon, see what he's up to. Damon advised that because of my strange appearance, it would be unwise for me to go into the tavern. As it would disrupt his merrymaking. Well, yeah. While well, they've been doing their getting fish, what have you been doing, uh, Damon? I've been carousing with the locals. Um, I've been what I've been trying to do is basically talk to them and, you know, make merry, buy them drinks, anything to get them kind of bought in to me. And then as the night goes on, be like, so, are there any local legends around here? Because I've heard there's some trouble. I've been out looking for your monster in the lake, but I haven't heard about anything else that's been going on around here. That kind of thing. Okay, uh, roll me a persuasion check. Sure. Do I get advantage if I spend money? On drinks. I'll call it a gold for the night. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Persuasion. Right, we have stuff to buy like three rounds. It's fine. People like free alcohol. It doesn't really matter where it comes from. Ew, I suck. Really? That's a. Is it a one and a two? That's a one and a two. I hate my life. <laughs> ah. Uh. Well, they are a bit more forthcoming once you start buttering them up with alcohol a lot of them just don't know much it's more well there there's there's the odd tale about the frost maiden which uh, which is what you already would have already known about before coming here because or or real mm -hmm. 
I know it's Oriel, but it sounds no, like it's Oreo. It, I mean, it's pronounced O-Real. Whatever. It's so there's spelled actually a pronunciation. Like there's like actually a, a fucking pronunciation guy. Oh, oh, it's, it's spelled oh, like an angel. Oh, Rio. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's, a, there's an O'Reilly Auto Parts like in town here. So. Yeah, they're all over the place. They're a chain. Anyway. I, uh, what did I miss? I'm sorry. Uh, Tools of Fruitless Venture is what you missed. I rolled a I rolled a one and a two on my persuasion check with advantage, and I hate it because that's like the one thing that I'm good at is charisma stuff. Uh, I guess this is the time where we all uh yeah ha, ha. sorry. I guess it's the time where we all walk in. Could I try? Could I try this? Um, sure. If you want to walk in, fantastic. I'll go over and talk to you. Hello. So, um, it's been a while. I've been drinking. Haven't found a lot going on. There's only some stuff about Oriel. I've heard nothing about a druid. Are you intoxicated? Yes, very much so. <laughs> um, I you would like to try water. something, though. Uh... I don't believe Catherine would like it. So, Catherine, you may wish to leave the premises, so you're not complicit in my plans. Um, Damon, yes. I recommend you sit down and try to... No, it's the last thing I need right now. I need to walk this shit off. Mm, make sure to drink some water and other fluids. No, the cold night air will do me wonders, trust me. Um, uh, the last thing I'm going to try, once they walk away, if they do, um, I'm going to hide around the side of the building, kind of, just like in the shadows, just like hanging out around there. And I'm gonna wait for, I'm gonna wait for one of the drunken idiots to come out of the bar to take a piss real quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and intimidate him into telling me a little bit more. I'm much better at that. Damn. Uh, question. Are you intimidating them because you're drunk and are trying to get answers, or are you trying to actually... <coughs> Damon is <coughs> actually like, very... Like, what, like, like, what's the motive? <coughs> He's very frustrated that he hasn't been able to find this thing after two days, when they found it on the first day in, like, the first three hours. So he's a little bit on, like, I'm wasting my time mode. So he's gonna wait for one of the drunken people who he, you know, who needs to take a piss to come out. He's gonna come out, and scare the shit out of him, and be like, "Look, you little fucking idiot, you peasant! I am trying to do your town a service, and the fact that you can't see that is very, very frustrating for me. So, how about you go ahead and tell me everything you know about this town?" But the monster living in your lake, and anyone else who may be, oh, I don't know, magic inclined, before I take whatever you're using in your hand and tie it in a knot. Oh! Dude! Um, okay, uh, roll, roll intimidation I, with advantage. I believe this is a bit extreme. <laughs> you were not supposed to be here. 26. <laughs> it's much better. Mm. Uh... If you weren't already out there taking a piss, he'd be pissing himself, so... I, I, I don't fucking know, man. I, I just I just fucking fish. I, I, I just fish and clean whatever the other fishes bring in. Then Fuck. tell uh, me who does know, because I'm very, very close to making your wiener into a balloon poodle. <laughs> okay, now, now, look, now you've lost me. I've been doing anything, me personally. Uh, uh, Three Brothers Taverns, you, you, you might hear some rumors there, I don't fucking know, man. Thank you. That is extremely helpful, my friend. Here, for your trouble, and to refill yourself with whatever you wish. I'll flip him a silver piece. It's probably enough for a cup of something. And I will saunter off toward the Three Brothers. I think that was successful. Look, I tried to be nice, I tried to be good cop, but after a certain point, the peasantry 
especially when they know what you are and what you look like, don't like you very much. So, uh, becoming what they're afraid of for a second does have its perks. No, well, you were right. Sorry. Okay. Not a side of me I'd particularly mm -hmm. like to use, but it is a side I am very good at using. As long as you got what, it, what is needed. I got something. You're we'll see thing right now. That anything. was extra. That was extra scary. We'll see. Anyway, off to the three brothers. I am so drunk. I can tell. <laughs> Um, Do you need healing or something? Would you like to you walk stop in it. front of him, just in case he falls forward? Uh, no. I will be behind him. I'm good. No, I'm I, good. I'd like... If he's gonna fall forward, I'd like to laugh, but... Look, uh, you know that moment when you're drunk? You probably, you know what? Never mind. That's a stupid question. I, I, I the do second not, after I, I do not it. think I can feel the effects of alcohol. No, you cannot. Which is hilarious to me. But it also means that you have no idea how funny this is. And Catherine's just, I like, face-bombing. Just, oh my god. To the tavern. Mm -hmm. to, to the tavern. Okay. Taylor, are you coming along as well? We have lost Tail. We've lost the cat. <sighs> Maybe it was eaten by a dog later. No. No. There? Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Chased a oh, they're not even in the call. They're gone. They gone. No, they're here. They're here. Are they? I don't see them. As far as I can see, Duck is still here. Hello. Hey, here. Oh, hey, Doug. <laughs> hey, Doug. It's magic. <laughs> that's that's weird, man. Okay, sure. I've just been I've been dead this whole time. I've just been muted. <laughs> the monster killed you in secret. It's been wearing your skin. We haven't noticed because we're so bad at um, perception. Yeah, that's actually what that's actually what happened um, when the fish slapped tail in the face. Tail got replaced. Yeah. It would be funny if the if the tabaxi was just a giant plesiosaur with like a cardboard cut out of the tabaxi's face glued to its head. Oh, like with a skull. The best idea ever. You have created the only character ever, actually. Yeah, you're welcome. This is not TF2, motherfucker. So, um, we're going to the Three Brothers in her tavern. That one. Are you still going to be talking to them? Or Bitch, do you want me to take over? You, I mean, you can go first. I don't know how to say I'm it's very good at scaring them, but so I also anymore. like to be liked, so... Yeah. Because the job done, I can't really... Stay mad at you, so. But yeah. Should I wait outside? Sure. Um, Pretty let sure. us know if anything. Yeah. Um, wait outside. Let us know if anything stupid happens. I suppose I hey. am. Please watch over him. I'm very concerned. I'm going to sit at the table, and I'm going to watch you do I whatever think you want to do. The drunken man should go in with the other drunken man. I'm going yeah, to watch you do whatever you are going to do, and then, when you need me, call me over. Yeah. I don't... As intoxicated <laughs> as I am, uh, I am very good at interacting with people while I am intoxicated. Tis the soldier way. It's all we really do when our ties off. I am so concerned. <laughs> I guess uh, me and Taylor uh, just standing outside. Be, it's like whoever's going to be trying to get the information, roll me uh, investigation or persuasion, your choice. Well, both of those I have nothing pluses to, so we're just going to see how this goes. Could I do 15. a um, a perception check, or just use my passive perception to just overhear other conversations that are going on apart from theirs? Uh, what's your passive? 13. Alright. That one's exactly what's mine. Uh, Catherine, you're able to find out that, uh, you're able to find out that, uh, some of the, uh, people out in, uh, 
Lonelywood are having are are seeing some weird shit. Hmm. Like, uh, they're another fishing village on the lake, as you can see. Uh, okay. But th they're not seeing anything weird on the lake itself, oddly enough. Just only in the town? No, there's the, the, the only one is seeing some weird shit in the forest out, out outside their village. So, like, to the northeast? Yeah, northeast. Yeah. To north right. North right, thank you. Oh, fuck's sakes. I can tell I know my cardinal directions very well. Yes, please stop. You're embarrassing <laughs> yourself again. <laughs> I've been sitting in a corner quietly this whole time. Damon hears something similar, but it's more focused on an odd white moose. White moose? Yeah. Sounds like a bad dessert. Cool. I'm assuming after a couple minutes. Yep. Uh, and I've been sitting at. I took yeah, a table, uh, yeah. so. No, from, uh, to finish this, I finished my sentence because I kind of broke up in thought. Uh, okay. Damon, what you hear is uh, like the, there's a white moose. It's been terrorizing the loggers. Rampaging. Moose. Okay. Interesting. Well, if we are looking. There it is! Oh my god! <laughs> Look, it's over there in the corner. <laughs> um, so, really quickly, reconvening. So, uh, I think we should go to Lonelywood next. I was going to just tell you that. What'd you find? Well, I was paying attention to other conversations that were going on on the side. It seems that, similarly to what you've been hearing, um, the logging situation on the side of the river has, or the lake rather, has been terrorized by an albino moose. Which does sound a little bit weird considering moose are usually brown, as far as I can tell. That could be our resident nature mage. They probably should, they probably take refuge in Lonely Wood then. Yeah. Maybe the woods are next to it. Well, if they're cutting down his forest, I can understand why he's mad. Mm. And if they're fishing the lake dry of any, you know, endangered, uh, whatever, I don't know. Some, if the fish are running dry yeah. for whatever reason, then that explains yes. the Loch Ness Monster. Well, probably. He's just a fucking tree hugger. Okay. Most likely. <sighs> Although, okay. it doesn't seem like there's been any attempt to contact the village. So, it could be just a very blanket overreaction. Mm -hmm. These things, hopefully, are solvable by um, diplomacy. The but, I, be diplomacy. Well, I believe, with someone as powerful as that, that can transform into animals and shit, that we should still be on our guard regardless. Hmm. Obviously, yeah. They tend um, to be very territorial. I think we should let the others know then as quick as we can. That's the plan, and... Are we just going to leave here now, or is there anything else you wish to do? It's late at night. I think we should rest, honestly. That'd be quite smart. It's what? It's like sundown. It's past sundown already. A couple hours have passed, I'm assuming. So, uh, yes, I believe it's bedtime for us. Okay. Plus, I know... <laughs> No condition to be on a boat, rocking back I... and forth. Oh, oh! If I knew, don't worry. If I knew precipitation, I, I yeah. Tried it once off the coast of Neverwinter, and it didn't work out very well. So, what happened? Yes, let's just say I had to swab the deck after. Mm. Oh, busted trunk. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not my. Not my favorite experience, not one I'd like to repeat, especially not when it can freeze. Oh! <laughs> Possibly. Mm. Um, so, yes, bedtime. Bedtime. 
I, thankfully, I haven't had much experience with it because I just, I had like, I did it when I was real young and I just didn't like it. If I remember correctly, I only bought two knights. Do you need another knight paid for? Or no, you have money. No, I do. Unless you spent it all. I just need to go and pay the innkeep for whatever amount's left. Okay. And let's I, well, we get, get I a night like, here, maybe well, it's cheaper. I feel like this should be our last night in Bremen for at least a day or two, so I'm only going to pay for one. Mm. All right. You can stand, right? Yeah, of course. Good. All right. You think then we let's get moving. I sure you are yes. not. I mean, how many did you have, obviously, because you've already slurred your words and... Only a few. You yeah, need to learn to recognize. All... You need to learn to recognize acting when it happens. Oh, acting. Yes, acting. I'm fairly good at it. I'm a so I mean, look, I'm a soldier. Like I said, three yeah, ales are not enough to put me down. Mm. That's just the warm up. But I'm a soldier. I'll take your word on that. So I guess you go outside. Yep, we're heading out. Yeah, we're out of here. What have you done? So, what we're doing, our plan now is we're gonna be heading to Lonelywood. Uh, yeah, Lonelywood? Yes, Lonelywood. Yeah. Lonelywood appears uh, to be ravaged by a white moose. Are we not going to do anything about the monster? I believe it's connected to the monster, so we'll be doing both. Mm. I mean, all signs point to druidic fuckery, and uh, strangely colored animals are their forte in a lot of ways. It just does not sit well with me to leave one problem undealt with. Well,. If it's smart, then it'll avoid our boat at the very least, and they can still fish on the lake unmolested. Uh, if you say so. I do. Ah, well, I hope. If it wants revenge, then that's an entirely another problem, and, you know, that's up to them, but... If it thinks it's us, at the very least, then I believe they at least have a shot of uh, avoiding it. Plus, considering we were out there for an entire day and didn't run into it at all, really, uh, really doubt they'll be running into it again. Maybe it saw us and went away, but we were so absorbed in our dice game, man. Well, here's oh. another thing I just realized, is that those trout are extremely dangerous. <laughs> for the common folk, they could easily decapitate you if you're not careful. Just a thought. Mm. Speaking of, we have three. Why? Well, I had an idea, but apparently now that we're doing something else, it um, it became rather obsolete. Well, at the very least we don't have to pay for it. I was going dinner. to try to make a peace offering for the um, monster. Oh, we can and still do that. And if it is intelligent and can understand languages, maybe we can make a sort of sign to say that this is a peace offering. I mean, we could do that so that it doesn't kill people while we're away. We are also going to be taking that boat across the lake, I presume. Unless we wish to walk through Targos and Termaline. Termaline? Termaline. I believe it would be faster to take the boat across the river. I believe so too. I feel like that's the best course of action, especially considering that they're not really using it for much at the moment. So it's settled. Yes, let's go. Well, but sleeping first. You are very gung-ho, Catherine. Mm. Sorry, I... Mm. Sorry, I just I I like getting things done. I just don't like sleeping. Uh, so, point of order, uh, point of order, uh, what are you guys planning on doing? Sleep first, and then in the morning take the boat across the lake to Lonelywood. Okay. 
leaving peace offering along the way if that's what Quick wants to do. We can maybe tie it to the boat and have it trail along with us. If we want to find the beast, I just assume that would be one way to lure it out, yes. Uh, but we tried because it already. just keep it in the metal, then just anything could probably take the fish. Well, that's well. If it's a peace offering, then we really shouldn't be trying to bait it, would we? Mm. So, I mean, s seems fine to me if we let it sink to the bottom, and then maybe it finds the offering itself. All right. You both go to your rooms. Tail, I think, has a house here. Does he not? He stays here. I don't know if about a house. I never thought to ask, actually. Tail. Are they here? Are they up in a tree? They doing... I believe they might be in a tree right now. I could go look for them real fast. Isn't that what you referred to as a racist statement before? No. What? It's a stereotypical statement. Oh. There's two different things. Stereotypes are fun and based on truth. Racism is just hatred. It's the worst kind. It's like, it's like how you instantly... Oh, you're here. Go oh, where the fuck did you come from? Look, yes, we found I them. I have been here the entire time. So, I have been dissociated for several minutes now. Real quick question for like, you. Do you have oh, a domicile? A, a, a fucking what? A, dom a house. Yes, I have a house. A did you just think I was homeless? Yes. I live here. Okay. If you say so. Did you just think I was... Hold on a second. I'm not letting this go. You thought I was homeless. Well, and for the been... record, homeless in this kind of place would probably mean death. No, 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 not probably. It would just straight up mean death. Well, I so, I don't know. He, he has been saying a lot of... I mean, technically, been... I'm homeless as well. I just bounce between taverns. I don't really have a place to stay that's permanent. Nothing wrong with that. Been... here. He's actually been saying a lot of things behind your back. I've not. Uh, Name wait, five things I've said that's behind so your back. Mean, that's so mean to me specifically. Doing this to me while I've been dissociated for. It. And he looks up at the sky for a second. How long? How long? How long has it been since the boat? At least eight hours. I have been dissociated for the past eight hours, and you're taking this chance to be mean to me. Oh, well, I will say that like the only negative comment that has been said is that maybe you were up a tree, but I have been informed that it is a stereotype and not racism, so I'm not considered a mean comment. No, it's a joke. Besides that, besides that, I am not sure if uh, Damon has said anything else negative about you, Tim. I don't think so. I, appre I appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for confirming my non-fears. The human recording device has, has managed to clear my name. This is why I like you. Anyway, plan is we're going to Lucky, whatever, Lonelywood tomorrow morning, and we would like a place to stay if you'll accompany us, but if not, then of course we have the inns. So, up to you. Wait, what was the question again? Can we stay at your place for the night for free? Or would we have to purchase it from someone else? You could probably fit, you could probably fit in my house, but I do have about four siblings running around currently. Oh, wonderful. How are we going to get sleep I am, then? I, was... I, am not, I am not doing the voice for any child. I was going to say... You don't want to voice a bunch of baby leopards? It'll be so cute. Well, there, no, Hunter, I'll be nice to you. There's like, there's like a litter of four kids currently going through their emo phase. And that's what I'll give you. I'm still not doing that voice. Fuck that. <laughs> God, Mom. I, I have two voice settings. Vaguely European and Texan. Okay? What? I don't have I can do emo it. I can do one. I can do like the... God, why do they have to stay with us? Jeez. Oh my gosh. Come on. I've got four emo settings. <sighs> barely enough room for the that five of us here. Better, and I'm giving you this information Who the hell are these now? guys? What the fuck is what going on? Here? Who are these guys? You're too slow. You're too slow. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> Fucking end me. 
I invented the okay. chili fillet. It's fish so with guys. chili on it. <laughs> Why are they becoming? I hadn't heard that one. I actually hadn't heard that. Someone, please, end my, my existence. Whoa, that's a big monster. All right, enough of that. Oh my god, no, no. I would like to rage. <laughs> this is this is this is what I get this is what this is what I deserve for running a game. God. Yeah uh, man, I Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, uh, but like uh, I forgot. This is the best part uh, of running uh, the game. I, uh, uh, I, I should have known running a D, &D game never turns out any any well. I, I no, of course not. game's over guys, everyone go home. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Shutting it down. Alright, last episode of Ice Wind Dale. There we go. We all failed, yeah, died no, died horribly to Moose Man. They should pick, uh, they all, yeah, the Moose killed us all. Catherine tried to freeze a, a daemon again, and everybody slipped and died. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Everybody slipped and broke their coccyx. What's a coccyx? Tailbone. Thanks, it's just man. funnier word to say this coccyx. Yeah. yeah. Um, funny, uh, yeah, fun should, fact, my dad did that at roller hockey once, and now he can't play roller hockey ever again. Yeah, because he broke his coccyx? Because he bent it. If you, fill on it, if you fill on it again, I'm you'll break it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull you out of here. Son break. Yeah. What'd I say? Hey, Tail. Hey, Tail. I'm trying well, to free Hunter trying? from the hell we've created. Well, look, if, if, <laughs> if, if, it's too, if it's too much trouble, we don't have to stay at your place if it's being crowded. Uh, we could find our own places. It's not it, like we're it broke. Should be, it should be fine. I, it, it should be fine. We have enough room. <sighs> About three of uh, my three litter mates actually moved out recently, so there should be extra rooms. Wait a minute, do I have a thing for this? No, I do See, not. There you go, Hunter. They moved out. You're fine. Calm down. Oh, there's still four at home. The other three moved out, though. I figured I'd be nice to Hunter. No, it's fine. All right. I need to show you guys the first tail family tree. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. So we're going sure. to bed there for the night. Oh. All right. Yeah, we'll stay there. So we walk off into the night. <laughs> the sun rises in the morning. I just need to sit down and stare. We've at all a wall. been assassinated by a very angry dark elf in the night. It's like we're playing mafia. That actually wouldn't be. That wouldn't be a too bad of a presence uh, or a, a premise for a, a short campaign. It's just a game of mafia. Oh, dude. I'm going to shelve that for later. Um, anyway, so we're going to go go to bed at Tails' house and wake up in the morning. Damn, I know I'm a shit GM, but using but using my own session to come up with ideas for your shit? Damn. I'm just thinking out loud, man. Hunter. Wasn't, yeah, I wasn't trying to call you out. We need to yeah. go to the furry house. Yes, the furry oh. house. <laughs> Great. I, I, I'm, not I'm not narrating that, please. Spare oh. me. They are just, they are just... A, How many of them have neon fur? In a house? None mm. of them. No. They all look like mini clones of tail, except they're less buff. Except <laughs> they're less buff, okay. How do they react to Robot Man? <laughs> oh, cool! Hunter, how do the Sonic children react to, react to Robot Man? Why don't you tell us, Hunter? Ducky. <laughs> Ducky, I will end your entire fucking bloodline. I will go back in time and kick your great great grandfather in the dick. Oh, cool. Mm. Do you need to sleep? Can you breathe? How tall are you? Uh, no, and no. About how tall am I? Hold Do you on. need to eat? Do you like fish? What's your favorite color? <laughs> It's been a very long What's day. What's your favorite really? color? Mine's chili dogs. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's probably so what one of them the says too. That, for the random <laughs> sibling, that BG is uh, is kindly narrating for us. Tail just like scoops them up, like puts a puts a paw over their mouth and just carries them off. To hey, put me down! <laughs> throws them down unceremoniously. Uh... <laughs> I hope you know that I'm playing one of your younger brothers if we TPK. <laughs> Please, for voice. the love of God, don't! <laughs> then don't kill us. I have to avenge my brother's death! Alright. Yeah, no. 
Um, all four of us will be the. Since there's four, all four of us can just be the. the, the four Tail of has like guys. 13 siblings. There are so many options for backup Tail family. Fuck yeah. I'm so as we go to sleep. <laughs> as we sleep. Sounds good. We are freeing Hunter from the hell we have created. <sighs> Thank you. I'm assuming I'm I wearing I, I'm wearing the most inquisitive recording. one as a scarf. S -s Someone timestamp this and, 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 so I can fucking just show this to my friends. <laughs> so I can just I'll timestamp it. Time it for you, Hunter. I was planning on timestamping stuff anyway. Oh yeah, as soon just as, so I can show can... them. Just so I can show them the shit I have to deal with as a GM. It's an hour and forty-five minutes into this. Love you, love you, Hunter. I like to think that I instigated <sighs> most of this. Before we leave, I'm just gonna write down the answers to all the questions they asked me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so nice. That's assuming they can read. <laughs> they can read! They're like 13! What? Well, I mean, you know, medieval peasants typically didn't read. Well, no, they, 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 it's it's understood they, they probably knew, like, basic math and how to read basic things. But... They're slower than normal people at it. So, yeah. Don't need to eat. Hey, I don't know if hey, I like food. Not going to let his siblings be a He knows. It's not much use for book learning in a fishing village. Hey, we gotta hey, go fast. Educated man. He siblings uneducated. He knows three languages. Just the one in the corner going, "Well, I can't read." <laughs> Tail doesn't acknowledge that one. That's the secret siblings. <laughs> That's the black sheep of the family. We don't talk about. We don't talk about Jimmy. Yeah, we can talk about Jimmy. Phenomenal. All right. Fuck Jimmy. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Hunter. Are you back? Are you okay? Are you recovering? <laughs> yeah. uh, I just know after the session, I'm gonna take a fucking nap. Good. The more sleep you get, the better. I actually, I actually need to get going soon. Cool. So all let's right. at least get to Lonelywood. <laughs> yeah, you, you all get on the boat. Take it to Lonelywood. Do we want to roll to see if we interact with the police, sir? Uh, how long does it take us to get across the lake? Uh, it probably takes about an hour. Cause, so go ahead, roll a d20. Can I add anything with the offering? No, let's just roll a d20. Damn it. Okay. Another calm well, down. Alright, what was 10? What was 10? What was 10? A Yeti shows up out of nowhere. Uh, no, it, it's... It, it's... Still as a fucking mirror. Yeah, all in all, this is... Gonna... This does seem like a very peaceful village. I don't understand why they've been having problems. No, the lake is still as a mirror. I know. You'd think in a fishing village that's been plagued by a monster, it'd be more exciting. But I suppose not. Oh well, right, you, onward. You get to Lonelywood in about an hour. Maybe close to two. Tie up the boat. Uh, you see that uh, Lonelywood is also has, so, has a fishing village. It's kind of a fishing village. Uh, it has like a it, ha it has a dock set with a with like boats with nets so that's that this they, they tend to they, it seems like they do trawl fishing as opposed to any rods mm -hmm. I'd assume that'd be a bit better with 70 fucking pound fish <laughs> you'd assume so and the villa and the village town seems to be right on the edge of the forest because like you can see like behind the buildings that's where the tr the the evergreen pines start to show up hmm. oh, like it, it is a big like it's not big big but like it's very clear like it is right on the edge of the forest built almost there that way on purpose hmm. interesting all right um well rather than wandering into the woods and Let's, let's do this smartly. I assume we would want to talk to a miller. Um, is there a sawmill or a some kind of logging esque building near the near the woods that we could visit real quick? Uh, 
not that you can see. It doesn't seem like it's a there's like a dedicated like lumber mill. It seems more like it's just people lumberjack just go out with axes and just come and just bring the trees back by hand. Okay. So in that case, we'll look for an inn or some kind of tavern, some somewhere where people would be shop, anything like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> what 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 did you do now? That, uh, what do you do again? I'm sorry. We're going to find a place where someone is, so I can at least ask them about their little moose problem. I can enter or a tavern or whatever. It is. Tavern shop, uh, an inn, some some somewhere where people would be during the day. Uh, you see to uh, you see what looks to be a. Uh, as you wander, as you wander around from the docks, you see like almost right near the docks, there seems to be what looks like a store. Is it a general store? Does it have a name? Uh, as the sign says, uh, the Happy Scrimshander. Happy Scrimshander. Don't know what that means. It and it seems to sell, like from the looks of the windows, it's needles, different kinds of knives, inks, wax. Literally nothing happened, Bree. Block and tackle. We're in. We're in another town now. We're in. We're in uh, Lonelywood, and we're going into the the smiling scrimshander. Is that what it was? The happy scrimshander. I, I I actually need to look up what the fuck a scrimshander is. Yeah, I don't fucking know what it is. The fuck I, my is guess is that it has something to do with lobby. Oh, it's somebody who does scrimshaw. Which is... The fucking scrimshaw. I knew, uh, I scroll knew work, that was engraving, ago. and carvings done in bone or ivory. Oh, okay, gotcha. I wonder if they can do designs. I only know what scrimshaw is from... Oddly enough, a fucking Skyrim mod. Yeah. I I knew it once upon a time when I did the Native American unit in fifth grade, but other than that, I, I have no idea. Alrighty. So we walk in the Mr. Scrimshaw shop. Yep. Alright. Uh, as you walk in, uh, you see a... a heavy set woman uh, behind the counter, and she gr greets you with a wave and a smile. Uh, what, what can I get you, dears? Uh, welcome to the Happy Scrimshaw. It's rare we see new faces around here. Oh yes, um, we will. We'll, <laughs> we've come from across the lake in Bremen um, because we've heard that you are having some problems with a a local moose. Of oh, the the white moose. Yes, the white moose. Uh, we have been investigating over the course of the last couple of days a um, disturbance on the lake that we believe to be connected to your. Moose problem. Oh, uh, you might want to talk to the uh, speaker, uh, uh, speaker Nim, uh, uh, speaker Huddle. Speaker Huddle. H U D D. Yeah, uh, H U D D L E. Uh, we've been. She's been sending uh, hunters to deal with it before, but the things has been eluding us. Looting her at every turn. It, 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 be, it being a white moose, it blends pretty well in the snow. I would assume so. And your name is, uh, by the way? Oh, uh. Oh, uh, I'm, uh. Ears Cree, uh, Cree Harrow Hill. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm not really the one important. Uh. If you want, I can point you to, uh, the, where the, I can point you to the speaker's house, uh. We don't really have much of an inn in town, but uh, if you help out with the hunt, she might put she might put you up while you're here. I have a question. Yes. What exactly is a scrimshander? Oh, a scrimshander is someone who does scrimshaw, someone who uh, carves uh, designs into ivory and bone. Uh, with as you can uh, see. Since we are standing in your shop, after all. Yeah. 
Uh, I have uh, some pieces over here. Made that, made them myself. Uh, she I've points. Never done she it points up. Uh, wood carving. Uh, I mean, I can. It's not something I generally do, though. It would be interesting to add a design to my armor. Ah, uh... I, I might be able to do something about that if you, if, if you want to pay. Just at me being made of metal and wood, just like... Yeah. It'd be like a tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> su at the time surprising, surprisingly, she doesn't seem that phased by you. I do not notice. <laughs> I know you don't. Well, uh, it's been very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, one last question. I've heard the term speaker thrown around a lot. What does that particular phrase mean? A oh, you 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 must be new to Icewind Dale. Yes. Uh, the speakers are is the uh, our members of the council speakers of different ten towns. Every uh, every every town has a speaker. Uh. So you're like a delegate. They're like a delegate or council. A, like a, a yeah, right, a council. But they they speak on behalf of their village. I'm assuming is what the uh, yes. Uh, with how hard living is here, we kind of have to band together in order to make sure we don't all die out. Uh, we we here at uh, Lonelywood, our our main thing is being loggers. Wood to burn in the winter, wood to build houses. Excellent. Well, that satisfies my curiosity. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. Um, last question. Of which village is um, Speaker Shale Scar part of? Uh, repeat that, please. Speaker Shales, Shale Scar. If I remember correctly, I've heard his name thrown around a bit. Um, somebody in Bremen's been looking for him. Oh, uh, from what I hear from the occasional fisher and soft spy, uh, he he's a bit of a not entirely there in the head. He wanders around a bit. He gets lost. He's a, he's an old dwarf that uh, he seems to be. He's always a very looks very calm, but. Uh, so, well, which village is he a part of? Because I've been told to look out for him um, on behalf oh, uh, of someone. He's, uh, he's a speaker of Bremen. Of Bremen? Oh, okay. So he's been wandering off away from his village, I see. He'll wander off and wander back, from what I've been told. Right. I don't know which direction he's gone in. Well, I'll keep an eye out for him. There's someone who's looking for him in Bremen, so I'll see. See if I can find him. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Oh, um, for Speaker Huddle, where does she reside? Is she all out in the forest currently, or is she in a, a long house somewhere? Uh, if you go out from here, take a left, you'll find a another path. Then you make another left. It's the bi it's the big house. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Anybody else have any questions for the nice woman? Do you also paint your carvings? Uh, yes. Uh, that's why I sell a good number of paints to anyone who wants to do it themselves. Uh, uh, I most I do mostly don't deal. To... I mostly deal in supply uh, supplies. I don't really do much in way commissions, though. I'm capable, I suppose. So you do have painter supply for sale? Yes. How much? Excuse me while I bring up my catalogue of prices. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I have proficiencies in painters, tinkers, and wood carvers, and I it'd be cool to do designs on them. Yeah. Uh, for a whole set of painter's tools, uh, I'm assuming that's also including paints, brushes, an easel. Uh, that'll run you about, uh, 10 gold, give or take. Also, that's not even me making up, that's me just pulling that from the book. 
I got the book, but I'm probably trying to day rules. Yeah. It painter supplies is ten gold. I was prepared for this. I got money. Totally didn't waste the good gold piece on fish offering. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, yeah, ten gold. I hand it over, I fork it over. And I now have entry supply. This is. But, uh, let me pack some for you. Uh, once you get, uh, once you get there, uh, let her know that you're that you're wanting to look into the moose. She'll she'll help you. She'll put you up, and now her, she'll probably give you cookies. <laughs> what are actually? cookies? Wait, no, no, actually, it's a pastry. Hmm. Actually, quite good, depending on if you don't burn them or not. We're going there. I want cookies. All right. Do you well, like I mean, we're that? going to go there anyway, but that works too. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll take our leave. Let's go to what's his face's house. See if we can get a direction. Let's do it, motherfucker. I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions I was given and find the also, big house. For the record, I'm just going to take a screen of something from the book. This is how. Big, a fucking what these trout are supposed to be. That's a crag cat right there, by the way. That's a what? A what? Crag cat. That's it's a, a large crag creature. Cat. The the fish, the rock knuckle fish, whatever they're called, um, are like they're like tuna sized. They're they're huge. But the book still classifies them as small, for the record. Because of the hit dice, probably, but they really shouldn't be. They should be medium creatures, looks like. So we were just lugging those bitches around. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. By the way, whoever has them still in their inventory, don't put them in, get them out of your inventory because we don't have them anymore. Alright, now. Uh, since Ducky has to go, I'm gonna. I'm going to, uh. Let's. You get to the big house, you knock on it. And out comes a small uh, halfling woman. Uh, she's a bit on the old side. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. You're uh, visitors. Uh, you need a place to sleep. Um, we were told you had cookies. <laughs> oh, lucky you! I just pulled them out of the oven. I would love one, please. <laughs> Well, I think Catherine rather enjoys cookies. Don't be rude, Catherine. We, introductions are in order. My name well, is I Damon. Well, I introduce myself as well. Okay, well, I introduce myself as somebody who wants cookies, and I'll speak when I get them. All right, then. Well, that's Catherine. <laughs> she loves cookies. I'm Damon, and this is Quick Trick and Tail. We're currently investigating oh. some happenings going on in Bremen, and we've heard about your moose problem. I was oh, could... yeah. Oh, even better. You're here. You might you know, look at the moose. Oh, yes. Uh, she brings out a, a tray of cookies. Uh, they're these little uh, jovial ha uh, halfling-shaped cookies, like with, like with the, uh, with like with uh, that have like uh, powdered sugar and like uh, I and uh, designs in them made with sugar and like frosted and, cookies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they look like they look like little they look like little jolly halflings. Catherine, so, don't eat them all by your. Okay, he's just going uh, to eat uh, them. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm taking three. I'm taking uh, also, three. Also, for the record, for the record, this is from the book verbatim. She bakes halfling shaped cookies and brings them to the meetings of the council of speakers. That's great. I'm of having course. three. Every council needs snacks. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, there. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, apologies. I haven't just us. Uh, my name's uh, Nimsy Huddle. I'm the, I'm the speaker of Lonelywood. Nimsy. Now, uh, since you're having some nice warm cookies, how about we get a bit to business? Uh, of course. There's been a white moose terrorizing our loggers for a while now. Every hunter we've sent out to deal to kill it has come up with empty. We need this forest to survive. 
course. And I wouldn't be a very good speaker if I let a dumb moose get the better of us. Well, here's the thing. We don't believe it is a dumb moose. That's the problem. Or at least I don't. There are evidences of magic afoot. Um, we've experienced a very similar situation with the monster of the lake. I don't know if you've heard. The Bremen. We've run into it ourselves. Gravely injured it. Uh, weren't able to finish the job, unfortunately. But we believe the two are connected in some way. Either the moose itself is the perpetrator, or it is another one just like the beast that dwells in Mana Dwalden. Huh. You know that surprisingly makes sense. That surprisingly makes sense. Yeah, I believe so. And I was wondering also, since it seems to be localized, at least here, have um, Tourmaline or Targos been experiencing any odd animal behavior lately either? Or is it just your two villages? Not that I know of. I don't uh, I don't remember the other village, the other speakers mentioning that. Um, what house, did you, what town did you say again? Uh, Tourmaline and Targos, the other two on the road around the, the lock. Uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Targos. Uh,. Huh. Well, it's all the better, um, as long as it's oh, localized. Oh, I do, th I do recall ter uh, hearing from Terminal that their mine has been closed due to monsters. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so that explains a lot then. Well, we're going to look into your moose problem. Um, oh, great! In the meantime, uh, if, if you spot any weird. Um, tree oh, hugging hold. people, or anyone wearing antlers, perhaps. Oh, or... uh, uh, hold, hold on a moment. I feel I should tell you that uh, I'm willing to offer a uh, a hundred gold for the moose's head if you can bring it back. Really? Oh, it's a hefty sum. Does a small village like that come up with a hundred gold? And, Is it just and, cold, uh, well, wh while we are fairly small, for we're still also fairly well off as far as ten towns are concerned. Every other town needs wood. That we're is the true. Main provider, and we're the main loggers. And uh, just between you and me, if if you bring the body back, the butcher will probably give you another ten gold for it. Mm. An interesting proposition. We'll keep it in mind if it is, in fact, a, as you said, a dumb beast, then... I shall have no qualms bringing you its head, however, if it, because I, I do know a little bit about druidic magics, and if it does turn out to be a person, I don't believe it'll be the greatest trophy to hang on your wall. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't planning on mounting it on a wall, I just need, it, need proof that the problem's been dealt with. Oh, of course. Uh, well, so uh, regardless, I, I we're going will, to we're going no, to try the diplomacy first. <laughs> if if it, our uh, hunters get the moose first, they'll be the ones to get the reward. That is true. Uh, hopefully, we can settle this di diplomatically. Uh, if it does turn out to be just an animal, though, of course we will deal with it post haste. Uh, what I'm saying, though, of course, is just keep an eye out for. Um, oddly and, uh, dressed and eccentric individuals other than ourselves. Uh, none I can think of. Though, and with that, I'm going to say, here's what I'm going to say. Uh, you, you've probably, uh, what, it's probably, uh, what time did you leave Ribbon at? Early? It would have been early morning, 6 o'clock, probably. Uh, well, uh, warm yourself by the fire, enjoy the cookies. I have to, uh, read over some some documents I've been getting. Uh, and with that, I'm going to call the session there. Cool. I eat all the cookies. Well, no, I'm saying. Damon is uh, intrigued. Yeah, there's about, the there about 12, there's a dozen cookies there. <laughs> there's a thousand cookies. 
I bake. Not I constantly bake cookies. I do nothing else. <laughs> that, that's what the speaker's job is to make cookies. Yeah, seriously. Cool. I dig it. Yeah, Looking forward to it. We'll get to kill a moose next. So, uh, thoughts on the session? I liked it. I had fun. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I missed this. I cannot wait for Damon's eventual death so I can play Sonic the Hedgehog in the campaign. Please, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Please shut the fuck up. Never! You'll never <laughs> silence me! When when tail yeah, I can, however, just dead. say no. Down with the government! When tail inevitably dies, I'm going to play Jimmy. No, I already I have a backup. I already have a backup. I'm going to be a hobgoblin if I die, so we'll see how it goes. Mm. Alrighty. Cool, I dig it. All right. Yeah, no, if I die, uh, I'm just gonna have you guys pick my race and my class like five minutes before session. Hell and yes. Then I'm gonna this oh, has been so this has been session two of Icewind Dale. I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>